Finally, it's time. I'm gonna finish this crap. And I'm not struggling to get sleep. I had to get up and open at 8 o'clock. <clears throat> Which wasn't too bad because I was only 4 hour shift. And then, me being smart, I didn't check the schedule for the next day as I was leaving. And so my manager calls me at 12.30 at night and says, Oh, you gotta, you gotta open again tomorrow. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I just went straight to bed. Like, I came home, and the first thing I did was sleep. Well, no, I lied. I'm sorry. I ate first, and then I went to bed. And I was looking at this, and I was editing the last episode. And I don't think it's anything as complicated as I was doing. I was wondering, it's like... There has to be... I'm thinking there's one here. There is! Intuition. Because it just, it didn't make sense, because... Like, this game's not smart me before, but it's made for kids. So something simple like having... Um... What should we call it? Um. Oh, cool. Some as simple as having the associated colors under the pictures make sense. Not trying to order them in fucking oldest to youngest or the hell I was trying to do. That was really retarded. Did these all change to blue when I saved? Because I didn't leave them as blue. I know this much. Is white next? Red. Oh, I was okay, even though I, today I worked eight hours, and I got a lunch, which is good. But it was, it's pretty easy. It's like I said, it's only seasonal at GameStop because my other job's in the school district. But when, oh, actually, I'm gonna leave this blue. So like, I clock out for lunch at like 12.30. It was getting kind of busy at that time. And so when I come in... Oh my god! Some trolling shit right here. Yeah, when... I clock out and I come back... Finally, holy crap. So... Let's save right here. I clock out for lunch, I come back, and it's even busier than it was before, which is fantastic, because then it makes time go so much faster, because there's always something to be doing. Alright, I'm expecting a boss. Let's see what Peach says to him. And... I want to use Kedge, but... I'm not trying to... Let's see if we can do a slim. I'm gonna use Peach to see if there's any dialogue. Ooh wee you. You look just like Buddy Holly. Where... Oh, where are my pretties? It's a woman? Pretties, beautiful things. Ooh wee, bring them to me. More, more, more. More! Ooh, what is this hideous clashing thing? Uh, are you King Crocus? Wee you. So you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. <laughs> well, I will not forgive the great thrashing of my beautiful kingdom. No way, ooh. Thus, you are worn. Voices developing. King Crocus, be merciful. Release the Kragnon on Jude and Slade. So Peach is a pacifist. Never. Their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig out more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace. Ooh wee. Why how positively horrid. Release them this instant. Trash is garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty. And if you need some proof, 
and have a look at this. Well, I'm, I'm gonna take it. It's the pure heart! It's mine! <clears throat> it's ours! Can't do a golem voice right now. Throat hurts. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly. You can barely think, mm. Seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? What if she was a teen and everything had an upward inflection? Don't compare us to you, we're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. King Crocus 4. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Does she not have a stem? I wonder. Absorbing the heart, getting the powers! And what does she remind me of? Holy shit. You have to hit all three? I wonder if I need Dottie. I hope not. Will you? Here I come. What's up, girl? Ah, oh, damn it! That did not work the way I wanted it to. Oh, this is. Ah! I see! Actually, Peach isn't a bad choice for this. I do think I need Thudley. Oh, that's not good. Alright, I don't need Thudley. Oh, what? Oh, it didn't go up. We got new moves. Oh, no! Oh, that's not what I wanted. So I think I'm going to stick with Slim, and I'll actually Slim through that. That sounds good. So is that three times? Three slams? Oh, and I couldn't... Ah, oh, why can't she float half the time? Drives me nuts. Get in your ass with Peach. I thought you'd be a good choice. Is that three? Oh, I should've got on that one. Oh, what? That sucked. Oh. Skills to pay the bills. See if I can make it over. Trying to concentrate. Actually, no, I'll stay here. I'll stay! <laughs> oh, you bitch! So we lost half our health doing this. Oh, thought I'd get up there. Hmm. Oh, damn it, I really thought that he would just open. Or she. Oh, what? Hmm. Oh, these hitboxes, they're killing me right now. There we go. Is that it? Or is that just like phase one? Oh, what the? Oh, that's... That's shitty. Hmm. We may... We may have to Bowser this. <laughs> or... That's what we can wait for. That's not too bad. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try and read Crocus before... That's King Crocus. Oh, wrong voice. He leads the floor of That's a he? The floor of Sabians and loves beautiful things. Max HP is 50. Does that count the first phase or not? And attack is 2. He attacks with his head like other floor of Sabians. I don't think you can damage him when his face is closed off like that. Using throw to grab some. Oh. Well. I guess you grab the, uh, the pedals. I, I was liking my slim strategy. 
It's not working as well as I'd hoped. But maybe... Let's follow that suggestion. Oh, man. Oh, why'd it come up? So you can just grab these. Oh, no! You're critical. Use a shroom shaker out of that. I've never seen this. Uh, safe than sorry. I'm so sad right now, by the way. That I had to heal on a boss. You say, ooh, that gets rid of them? Well, damn, why wasn't I doing this before? <laughs> Need the Chris Matthews left. Aha! Where the fuck he does? Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. Just run into it. It's cool. Just run into it. It's K. It's K. I don't know. Peach, you beat a boss. With the help of a salad that I didn't need to eat. Beautiful. Even as I will. I am. I am beautiful. K King Crocus. Hang in there. You're going to be okay. <laughs> What? Whoa! What'd you guys do, huh? We defeated your king. Now release the Kragnons. You keep what you kill? Hey, shut up! You don't get it at all! He was just trying to kill you. King Crocus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you. You wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man! I'm talking about water! The Kragnons were polluting our water! They were throwing garbage off the side. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river. We had to drink that crud. That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? So, then... Oh. We're kind of the assholes right now. Of course, I knew it all along. Is this Cragly? Cragly-ho! Yeah. Emergency special report from the floral front lines. Environmental pollution drives floral sapiens mad. Whither will they what? Whither will they rampage? So the villagers throwing garbage in the river was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This play well with Green Cragnon crowd. <laughs> Ratings explode, brah. It like crags on ice meets Baron Von Craggington. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure. I was going to say resource. Know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. Tell that bitch to be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins, too, man. Commas are hard for me. Sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. Is he dead? They said he wilted. One of our earliest kings received this as a safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have kept the, that promise for like 50... Oh, that's cool. For like 1,500 years or something crazy like that. Because the floral calendar's in like the year 16-something. It's pretty interesting. I'm sure our wilted king here would be stoked that his that this duty got done. I like this story the most so far. Um, or this chapter the most, story-wise. You got a pure heart. Peach did it. I bet you that's like the one boss room I didn't go 3D in that had something. Men of true grit witness live. Oh, a witness live, what others can only see through crag vision. That is what moves me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. 
Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Cragley Ho! Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mario and friends clutched the six pure heart as they walked back toward Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step towards overturning the prophecy of destruction. Don't want to save? Hell yeah, I do! Save complete. <clears throat> Raise your chunks in the air as the most debonair man or man strides into the room. I can't sing in a hybrid Irish, whatever the fuck I'm trying to do. Swinging forth from his lair as his foes all disappear, or despair, disappear, fuck me. <laughs> For black be the name of their doom. Whoa! I always think of Seamus. That's our black! Blacky, blacky de do! He looks so exhausted. Yeah, something black. That's the guy who says. Ooh? Can't think. Gosh, yo chunks, quit it! You're breaking windows! What are you yelling about? I like how Mimi's changing costumes. She looks like a spoiled little girl. Oh, that? Yeah, I just had O-Chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. Is it like required that people in anime or video games with glasses just have to fix them like every two seconds? And as punishment for getting beat by that hero again, I'm making him sing it a thousand times. A thousand. A thousand times? Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting. So where's the count, huh? I want to see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything, and I'm getting so bored. Hey, count! What's this? Yeah, what's gonna say? My destructive little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back in action. Yes, robot is begging me to take him out. Say the word, and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shelve the robot action plan for now, okay? Thing is, the count kinda left specific orders for us to stand by. Got that? No way! We're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come get us? So the count doesn't need my services? Excellent. I'll just be off then. Ooh, man, she got some anger. You go nowhere! We wait! It's the Count's direct order, his word is absolute. Be a good little minion, and do not move until told! Okay? Thanks. Yeah. Sorry about that, something happened. But I'm bored! Brobot craves his daily smash! I can't just loiter here, there's no action! Haha. <laughs> Oh, my man Dementio. Hard to stay still when you pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio! Count's orders are all absolute, completely without exception, yes? <laughs> Since he's got the smile going on, he's always like... I always picture him super cheery. We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought! Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oopsie, I just remembered something real important that I gotta do. Back in a jiffy, bye! Yeah! Yeah, I've uh, got to... to go to flavorize the robots. Flavorizer! That's a word! I'll return once everything's up to code. Later, Dementio. Is he like the guy no one wants to hang out with, or do they just... Are they that scared of him? Haha. <laughs> my, my, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. He doesn't even need the box to disappear. He just fucking teleports. Look, Timpani. The stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a dish... Did it blah, blah, blah. There's a tradition in my village. We believe that our that wishes come we believe that wishes on stars come true. Okay, there we go. Oh, is that so? In that case, we better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. 
Mm hmm. I already got my wish. Now I have everything I need right here. Timpani, aren't you cold? Not at all. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this? Just a little longer? So cute and precious. Tippy, Tippy. What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seemed a little out of it there. Well, didn't you just hear something? No? Alright then. It's just that, for a second, I thought I had remembered something very important. <laughs> the void, it looks like, it looks as though it's gotten bigger. We need to open the door to the next world quickly, let's hurry. Actually, I'm going to go save, because there's a lot of background noise right now. Oops, I'm sorry, Peach. I didn't mean to drop her highness on her face. Really wish I could have finished 5-4 in one sitting, but like I said, that was already a long time. Oh, you bastard, just let me save! Oh ho, you're back. Have you seen the sky lately? The void continues to grow larger. I imagine that some worlds have already started to decay. Just like Namek. I wonder how long our dear Flipside will be spared. The light prognosticus doesn't say anything about how long we have waited, or how long we have. The light prognosticus was only written to counteract the Dark One. As such, it's not truly prophetic. So it's hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all. This I can agree with. Well, we can only go forward now. We can't just wait for all worlds to end, can we? Of course you're right, my dear. I received a message from Nolrum recently. Nolrum. I think we met that person, I can't remember. Seems that someone on the outskirts of Flopside has spotted a heart pillar. As you're no doubt seeking the next heart pillar, that is a good place to start. I will go back to Light Prognosticus to look for clues. Um, let's check some out first. There's some I'm wondering about. I'll add a little more time to this episode because I'm going to cut some out of it. I wanted to use um, one of the video converters I was talking about before. And I found all the video converters I found, the trial versions all have an obnoxious watermark in the dead center of the screen. I'm not trying to have that. And as of right now, I can't afford to buy one of them. So, I'll see what I can do. I have. I have a couple checks to deposit, so I might just do that. I really thought I froze my game right there. But honestly, after I checked, like, I compared this to... If you can't tell, I'm looking for the tiny house. I don't know where it's at. Um, I compared this... The videos that I uploaded straight to YouTube instead of rendering. As compared to the ones I do render, and I honestly don't see... A difference. So I might just continue to do that. At first I thought like my rendering was glitching out because whenever I go 3D it made a little ripple. But it I never noticed that that's actually what happens every time you go 3D, it just ripples. I think it's a star? Looks like a little star, yeah. Not a star you, a star yeah. I know the pillars on flop side, but there's a tiny door somewhere. So I'm gonna see if I can use Dottie. And see what the hell this dude has. Is this fish bigger? Ooh. What? <laughs> what happened? Excuse me, Captain Gills. Not trying to get eight. Oh, it is back here. Cool. I think, I'm pretty sure. Greetings, name is who the hell cares. That's actually pretty cheap. I think the other one was 300. He's got cooking recipes, or cooking items. No cards? Oh well. See nothing? Color me flustered. 
Well, inventory changes like that. Yeah, that quick, so come back then. Or come back soon. Alright, see what's in here. You can't go. Oh, man. Hey, and welcome to the teeny tiny food store, Itty, bi itty Bits. Sorry I can't show you my face, but I have my reasons, which I won't be telling you. So first time here? Well, hey, thanks for finding us. What we specialize in here, specialize in here is cooking ingredients. Our shop is small, but we stand tall by our products. What can I get for you today? Check. I got points here too? Two, okay, so I get shop points everywhere. Which will it be? So, okay. Well, that's what I want to check out. So I'm going to see if I can get the disc to Saffron, and then I'll save and I'll be it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. We'll see if he changes every time I look at it. Oops! No, I don't want it. Sorry. I probably should have read that. That was new dialogue. Oh well. You need to eat me, Captain Gills? No. Let's see what else? I can't remember what the oh the coffee shop where you get tips and things. <sighs> I'm playing so many Guardians matches, the free time I did have. We're in the pro me and my best friend are in the process of trying to convince everyone we know to get that game, but no one's did it yet. One person got the trial, so we're hoping he'll play, and then another one's hopefully getting the trial tonight. Do you want the disc? Um. Oh well. What can we make with primordial fruit? Let's just make all these. This is such a cute little bubbly music. <clears throat> Crack specialty. What? A little annoyed. It went from actually did always heal five, and I just didn't notice. Maybe someone will want it in the town. What about horsetail. I'm gonna take a drink while she's doing this. better. Enjoy the, um, roast horse tail. What about... Peach. Yeah, my friend and I were playing a bunch of Guardians matches, and we were trying to get this achievement where you have to play as every character. There's two different ones. There's one for the good and the evil. And it sucked. Ooh, peach juice. That's not bad. But yeah, it took so many... There's 22 characters you have to play to get the achievements. And... We only play certain roles when we play that game. So... I had to play a lot of the like more offensive characters, because I usually play supports. And he had to play a lot of the supportive characters. And we both had to play bruisers, which is something neither of us play. We don't... I don't really like it, and he doesn't like it that much either. Sap Syrup. Strangely named Syrup with even stranger effects. So I'll hold on. Well, I'll hold on to all this. Mango. Mm. 
should have bought more like fresh veggies or something. <clears throat> juice. So the fruits make juices. It's interesting. I like how they look like cocktails or something. Yeah, it ended up where we lost quite a few games trying to get these achievements because we played the one lane map and there was a lot of bad comps. Or we had like retarded AIs because we were just trying to get into whichever came first. What? Oh? What the hell's that? Oh, it was the poison shroom, that's right. Alright. Oops! No! It's nice though, I get the next week off, so I'm gonna start pumping out videos as best I can. Because that's what I've been wanting to do, I've just not had the time at all. And it makes a lot more sense now, because at first, like I saw other people, like I follow other people who made videos, I was like, I don't see how you can't make one a day. How's that fucking hard? And it's not that it's like hard, it's just. It's really hard, and, like, on some days, you just don't have, like, the two or three hours or whatever to record, edit, and upload something. And I'm learning this, but, like I said, I got the week off, so more to come. Uh, so that was chapter five, now that's done, and next time, I think, we'll start chapter six, that sounds... Because I want to go back to the hundred trials at some point, I might do that in chapter seven, I think. Or maybe eight, or whatever, because there's, I think there's eight, right? Yeah, there's going to be eight, from the looks of things. So, we might, might do it then. Anyway, I've rambled too long. Let's save, and I'll see you guys later.